channel, Andrew Makes. I made Simplicity 9454, my version of it, and I am excited to share it with you. So I'm going to be going over the pattern envelope with you, showing you the pattern pieces, and showing you the garment up close on a hanger, inserting pictures of me wearing it, and I'll also try it on for you. And here's the pattern envelope cover. And I made this few sort of. I modified mine and I'll tell you all about that. But I don't think the pattern envelope does this dress justice. And I think that's the case for a lot of big four patterns. It's beautiful and it has beautiful details. And I don't think this, the styling and the way they have the photo shoot styled, I just don't think it does it justice. But anywho. It's a Mommy and Me dress, and it has tears, and it has beautiful gathers along the sleeve and also the neckline, and I'll show you the line drawings. And I like to show those on the instructions instead of the back of the envelope because I think you get a better view, but it has gathers along the top of the shoulder, but it doesn't stop there. It also goes along the back a little bit. If you could see right here, it starts about midway at the back of the shoulder and then goes around to the front about midway also. And that is so pretty, I think. And it has a keyhole opening in the back. And now I'll go over all the details on the back of the envelope. Kind of put my readers on for that but it's described as children and misses, dress and top. And the fabric suggestions are cotton, cotton blends, lightweight corduroy, linens, and rayons. And the notions needed are thread and one half inch button. And the size range for this particular envelope for the misses is extra small through extra large and that it covers a six through 24. And then the child's is size three through eight. And then the yardage requirement for the dress depending on the width of your fabric and what size you make goes from one and three quarter yards to four and a half yards and it does have the finished bust measurements on here and for the misses it goes from a 35 and a half inch bust to 50 inch bust and as we go along if i've left out anything that you'd like to know about the pattern ask me in the comments and i will answer as best i can and I'm going to show you the pattern pieces. There's the bodice front, and you cut one of these on the fold. And then the bodice back, and you cut two of these because it has a keyhole opening in the back. And then there's the neck binding, and then the sleeve, and the sleeve binding, and the skirt front and back. This is the first tier. And you cut two of these on the fold, and there's the pocket piece. And then there's the lower skirt front and back. And you cut three of these on the fold. And there's also pattern piece four, and that is to make a fabric loop for the button. But I didn't use that, and I'll show you what I did in just a second when I show you my dress. But the reason I wanted to make this dress and how it all ended up happening is kind of interesting. I wanted to enter the sewing challenge hosted by Sew Over 50 on Instagram and it's a color blocking challenge and you don't even have to make a new garment and I'll put the info right here about the challenge so join in if you can. You still have time when you see this video. It runs through the entire month of July and they just want you to make a garment that's color blocked and they want you to use solid fabrics, no prints. So I wanted to join that challenge so, and I didn't want to buy anything. So I started looking through my fabric stash to find two solids to color block. And then I started looking through my pattern stash. I knew I wanted to do a tiered dress because that's one of my favorite things to wear. I absolutely love them. So I found the two fabrics first and I didn't have a lot to work with from the get go. So I found the two fabrics that I wanted to use together and then I started looking through my pattern stash to find a dress. And I found this one. So I cut out all the pattern pieces and I started laying them out on the limited fabric that I had to see what combination I could come up with. And my original plan and desire, I guess, was to color block the top. You know, do the sleeves different from the bodice 
and everything and then maybe color block the two tiers with the different fabrics but I played with the pattern pieces for quite a while trying to come up with that combo and just with the fabric I had to work with I couldn't do it but I'm actually glad that that didn't work out because I absolutely love the way my dress turned out using the fabric I had to work with. But my dress isn't going to look exactly like the one on the envelope cover because like I said I had limited fabric to work with and I love when things happen like that. I think it forces us to be more creative so I'm so pleased with how my dress turned out and here it is. I had less than two yards of fabric for both of these fabric pieces that I had. I think I had maybe a yard and a half of both fabrics. And this is a beautiful, I think it's a linen rayon blend, it's what it reminds me of. And I got this from a thrift store. And then for this tier, this is a double gauze in this mustard color. And I got it from Joanne, but I already had it in my stash. And I think I had a, only a yard and a half of it. And instead of do, let me show you the pattern envelope again. As you can see, that has two tiers. But I didn't have enough fabric to do it exactly like that. So this is what I came up with. I have one long tear in the double gauze, which is all I had fabric for. And then I put a, this is on the bottom, that's all of the linen rayon fabric I had left. So I used every inch of both of these fabrics and I made a little tear on the bottom of that. And I fringed the hem, of course. You know, I love doing that. But this is, I have tried and tried to think of what color this might be. Do you think it's peacock maybe? It is so beautiful. Let me know what you think. But it has a beautiful drape. And I'm gonna show you the beautiful details of this dress that I don't think the pattern cover did justice. But here are the gathers. And it starts about a little more than halfway from the front and then goes along the top of the shoulder, and then it still continues to the back. I think that is so pretty, and while we're back here, I'll show you the keyhole opening, and then instead of using a fabric loop, I used a piece of vintage lace that I got from a thrift store, and then this is also a vintage button that I got from a thrift store, and I had both of those in my stash already. And then the detail around the sleeve is so pretty also. Oh, and this is the neck binding. And then here's the gathers along the sleeve. So pretty. Like I said, the details of this dress are gorgeous. And the pattern envelope does not do it justice, I don't think. And I chose these colors because I can wear this in fall also spring, summer, and fall. So now I'm going to go try it on for you, but in the meantime, here are some pictures of me wearing it. Okay, I'm back and have it on for you. I really like trying things on because Garments look so much different on a body than they do a hanger. So that's why I like doing that for you all and I hope that you enjoy it also. But here it is on and I just love these gathers and the way they, like I said earlier, they start you know, right here and then they still go around the back just a little bit. They're not just on the shoulder, the top of the shoulder, which is what you see a lot. I really like that that's different and it's so pretty and feminine and then also the gathers on the sleeve very pretty and I had as you saw jewelry on in the pictures but I took it off so you could see the details better and this is a wonderful blank canvas for all types of jewelry and I will step up on the steps so you can see the entire thing here it is the pockets And here's the back.
It is so comfy to wear and I just love the flowiness of it. So this is my version of Simplicity 9454. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!